All right, for the final video in this mini series on design tips for developers, let's talk about colors. Colors is a topic where you need a little more UI UX knowledge compared to the other topics. Having said that, I want to point out a few tips you can keep in mind for your next application. Under colors, I want to talk about a few different subtopics. Let's start with the gray color. Now dealing with grays, that is black, white, and everything in between is a very important skill to develop. With just grays, you can create hierarchy, content separation, and a lot more. Here is an example where we have a mobile app for purchasing books. At the moment, it primarily contains grays. We have black, white, and a few different shades of gray. Although this is fine, the most primary tweak you can make is to adjust the saturation of the gray color to match your brand color. I would say my brand color is the blue from the logo. So I can select the gray on no results card and change the color to the primary color. Now I can move it towards the gray while ensuring there is a hint of the primary color. It is a very small change, but does a lot for the appearance. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of just gray and gray with primary color of the application. For me personally, the design on the right is much better. Of course, if you are a developer, all you have to do is go to Chrome DevTools and change the color in a similar fashion. So my first step is to add a bit of primary color to your grays. This especially works when your primary color is blue. My second tip is to add the right amount of primary color. As beginners, when we have the liberty to develop an entire page ourselves, we are usually tempted to not add colors at all or add too much color. Here's an example where there is hardly any primary color. And here's an example where there is just too much primary color. And this is where a lot of constraint is needed. Your app doesn't have to scream the brand color. Often, clean UI has a minimal amount of brand color, but ensures the brand color is carried throughout the app. Here's an example where we have just the right amount of brand color. I would always suggest starting with action elements and building up from there. Once you have the hamburger menu, the profile icon, and the tab with the primary color, you'll realize the background doesn't have to be primary color as well. Same with the bottom navigation. Start with elements that require different treatment before thinking about background colors for elements. Also, if you have a look at the grays here, you can see I have started out with the primary color, but had to move all the way to the left as primary color is so strong that it changes the gray to a pink. But I have stuck to the principle of starting with brand color and moving towards a gray that I feel suits the UI. So tip number two is to add just the right amount of primary color by starting out with action elements. Finally, I want to talk about a few things to keep in mind when you want to add dark mode to your application. Of late, it seems that every app has a dark mode. If you have a designer in your team, they might be able to guide you. If you don't, and the product manager suggests a dark mode, there are a few fundamental color considerations you should be aware of. Here is the mobile UI we have seen so far in light mode. When we think about the dark mode for this app, the immediate thought is to switch white to black and black to white. And here's the screen where I've done just that. Now this doesn't look bad, but let me point out a few things. The very first thing is about light theory. In light mode, the search bar, the no results card, and the items are all elevated and thus have a lighter color compared to the background. In our dark mode though, 
it is quite the opposite. They all are darker, which gives the impression they are embedded into the background and not on top. This is something you have to be very careful about. The second point is that we generally tend to think dark mode is just black, but it doesn't have to be. In fact, pitch black can cause a little strain on your eyes. Finally, you'll have to make considerations about your logo. In the light mode, we see a clear black border on the logo. The same in dark mode appears borderless. As you can see, light mode to dark mode is not a straightforward black and white inversion. Let me now proceed to the next version where I have addressed all these concerns. You can see the cards which should appear above the background are now lighter. After all, they receive more light. Second, I have now mixed black with a bit of the brand color. If I inspect the color, you can see I've picked the brand color and moved towards black. And this looks better than pitch black. Finally, I've added a light background for the logo. And I feel this is already a great improvement. Now there is one more point to address, and that is the text color. When you switch from light to dark, you may lose accessibility on a lot of text content. In our case, the links, as well as the load more suggestions have lost their contrast ratio. I've got a Figma plugin to highlight that. Now to fix this, I've had to slightly change the color and now you can see it is much better. The links and load more suggestions is more clear to the eyes. The accessibility check also passes. Of course, if you're a developer, you might not be comfortable with Figma. In that case, you can rely on a Storybook plugin. Now, I hope you are using Storybook for developing components in isolation. If you do, there is an A11Y plugin that can highlight these in your component. All you have to do is pick a color that passes A11Y. So these are some of the considerations you need to make when working with colors. By addressing a few points, you can go from a good UI to a great UI. Something that both product owners and clients will appreciate. With that, we come to the end of this mini series on design tips for developers. I hope you've learned a few tips that you can take with you and use in your day-to-day -day work. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and until next time, take care.